Thank you for joining me and welcome to my Christmas series for 2021. Today I'm sharing five rustic Christmas DIYs. DIY number one. To start this DIY, I'm taking an ornament sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the metal hanger at the top carefully so I can reuse it. And I'm also going to scrape off the glue. Next, I'm taking my Christmas crafting paper from Michaels and I will trace the ornament on the paper, then cut out the shape. I am going to use my glue stick to glue the crafting paper to the ornament sign. I like using this instead of Mod Podge as I get a more cleaner look. Next, I will use a piece of sanding paper to sand around the ornament so I can remove any excess crafting paper and then I will glue the metal hanger to the top. I'm using my antique wax from Michaels and I'm going to paint the hanger to give it a more antique look. And then I'm going to paint around the ornament on the edges and this will also give it a more aging antique look. I have a Mary Wood sign that I will be using my antique wax on and I will dry brush it and when it's dried I will glue the Mary sign to the ornament. To finish my DIY, I am making an easy simple bow using my fabric snowflake ribbon and I will glue it to the top of the ornament. This is going to be a beautiful addition to my Christmas tree this year and I love this rustic farmhouse ornament and how it turned out. DIY number two. For this DIY, I'm going to use my home decor black chalk paint and I'm going to paint around this 8x10 frame. Um, this is a wood panel that I purchased at my local dollar store. Next, I'm taking a piece of sanding paper and I'm going to sand the chalk paint. I want this to have a very distressed, worn look to the frame. Next, I am picking a design from my crafting book that I got from Michaels and I decided to pick the reindeer and tree and this is really cute. So I'm using my Cricut cutter and I will cut the crafting paper to fit the frame. I'm going to use my glue stick and apply it to the back of the crafting paper and then I will also apply it to the wood to make sure that this stays on good. So 
So I'm taking my Mary sign from the Dollar Tree and painting it using my black chalk paint. Then I will distress it using a piece of sandpaper. Then I will glue the Mary sign onto my picture frame. And to finish off this DIY, I'm taking my red and black buffalo check bow from the Dollar Tree and I will glue it to the bottom of the Mary sign. And then I will make a hanger using some jute rope and that will complete this DIY. I love how this reindeer Christmas tree picture turned out. It's absolutely cute. DIY number three. For this DIY, I'm going to use my home decor white chalk paint and I'm going to paint these wood slices. These came from my neighbor who cut down a small tree in the summer and was so kind to give me some. So I'm adding the word joy um, that I made um, using my Cricut. I'm taking three paint sticks that I cut and I will glue them together and I'm going to make a triangle. I'm going to use the ends of the paint sticks that I just cut and I'm going to glue them onto the top of the triangle. I am hoping to get uh, a roof shingle uh, look um, to, to this uh, triangle. So I'm going to um, glue about four or five on one side and then I'll do the same on the opposite side. And once they are glued on, I am going to use my home decor black chalk paint and get uh, paint the shingles. Um, I'm hoping that this will look realistic and it'll have a great um, effect to it. Um, I'm trying to achieve like a... I don't know, like a house tree look, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then I will use my Apple Barrel white acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the inside of the triangle. Hey everyone, I want to take a moment to say thank you um, to everyone who is watching this video and I'm hoping that you are enjoying my DIYs and if you are new to my channel, I want to say hello and welcome and I am so happy that you were able to find me and to anyone who's returning, hello and thank you for coming back to see me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment to consider and click that subscribe button and notification bell um, so you know when I upload my next video. And definitely click the like button um, to give me thumbs up. It does help my channel to continue to grow and I appreciate that so much. Also, leave me a comment down below. Um, I'd like to know which DIY you like the most from this video. Uh, I absolutely love your comment and I thank everybody so much for being here and supporting my channel. And it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for your support. 
Next, I'm taking my joy sign and I'm going to glue the wood slice to the top of the triangle. So I'm going to take a black and white buffalo check bow from the Dollar Tree and glue it to the top of the triangle. I have two pieces of the tree um, from my neighbor and I'm going to glue them together and glue them to the bottom of the triangle to make like a trunk. Uh, actually, it's like a tree trunk. Yep, it is a tree trunk. <laughs> and to finish that off, I'm going to take another um, wood slice and glue that to the bottom of the trunk so this can stand up without falling over. And to finish off this DIY, I'm going to take a, a Christmas pick uh, that I got from my dollar uh, store here. And I just cut off the leaves and the white berries. And I'm going to glue the leaves to the bottom of the triangle. And then I'll add the berries on top. Then I'm going to glue some small pine cones um, and just scatter those around the berries and the leaves. And then I will add to the bottom of the trunk a little tree and a couple little um, pine cones as well. And that pretty much finishes off this DIY and it turned out really cute. DIY number four. For this DIY, I'm using a tray I found at my local dollar store. I love this tray as it is, but I want to add my own touch to it. So I'm going to start with staining uh, one of the Dollar Tree wooden uh, trucks, and then I will glue that to the bottom of my tray. I am also going to add some mini trees from the Dollar Tree and some mini pine cones to my tray. So next I'm taking my white acrylic paint and brushing it around the edge of the tree and on top of the truck and around the tires. So it gives it the illusion of some fresh snow had landed on the truck. Then I will dab my brush and paint on the bottom of the tray and around the trees and the pine cones so it gives it that winter wonderland snow look that I'm trying to uh, achieve. To finish off this DIY I'm taking my black and white buffalo check ribbon from Michaels and I'm going to make just a simple bow and glue that to the top of my tray and then I'm going to take a smaller buffalo check bow from the Dollar Tree and I will glue that to the mi middle of my bigger bow. I love how this tray turned out and it's going to make such a nice addition to my shelf in my kitchen.
DIY number five. For this DIY, I'm going to use three wooden square dowels and one piece of particle board that I found at my local dollar store. I'm going to cut the wooden dowels on the ends at an angle to form a triangle. Then I will use my hot glue gun to glue the ends together, creating that triangle. I cut the particle board into a triangle shape and I'm taking a piece of my crafting paper from Michaels and I will trace the triangle onto the crafting paper and then I'll use my Cricut cutter to cut the triangle out. Then using my glue stick, I'm going to apply the glue on the back of my crafting paper and also on the particle board. And then I will put the crafting paper on top. I also took my antique wax and I did stain the wooden a triangle. I did lose my um, footage on my camera, so I wasn't able to show it. But moving on, I it turned out great and I'm going to use my glue gun and apply some glue to the back and then I will add the particle board with my crafting paper onto it. I'm taking another wooden square dowel and I will glue that to the back of the triangle and then I will use my antique wax to stain it. Next, I'm taking a wooden slice and I will glue that to the bottom of the wooden dowel so the triangle tree can stand up alone. it's time to decorate this triangle tree and I'm going to start by using some moss and gluing it to the bottom of the triangle tree on top of the wood slice and then I will add some mini pine cones. Hey everyone, just a quick thank you again for being here and uh, supporting my channel. And um, also too, just a quick update, I am feeling much better, um, better than I was uh, for the last two weeks, so I'm happy about that. Um, so also, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment and click that subscribe button before you leave, and also the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video and don't forget to give me thumbs up. Leave a comment on your favorite DIY. I'm going to take some of my mini Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree and I will glue those to the top of the wood slice. To finish this DIY, I'm adding a Merry Christmas star to the top of my triangle tree and then I'm taking my white acrylic paint and brushing it on the outside of the triangle and at the bottom on the pine cones. So it gives it a really nice snowy look. This is a beautiful, unique, rustic tree and I absolutely love it. I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.
Touch without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Dance. We're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance. Come on.